Oh, goody. All right. What's going on, everybody? Zombies here again. And today we're back with another Marvel Snap video. So we got a patch today, and there is a bunch of stuff here I was not expecting, nor I think most other people. Now, a lot of it is cosmetic focused. So if cosmetics aren't your thing, you're probably not gonna care about a lot of this stuff. Uh, but I think the stuff in here is really, really cool and just a net positive for the game overall in terms of your card customization. So what actually changed? Well, we can see there's a little bit of a UI update here uh, to the variant section, just kind of minor stuff. Uh, but the bigger things are in your finishes and flares. Now, for the very first time, you can put a finish on a base art of the card. So uh, no rainbow, no gold, no ink. You can apply your crackles, you can apply your stardust. Really, any effect you have access to can be, can be applied to the card independently. Now, if you do want to put a crackle on a gold, you do still have to unlock that. Like we can see here, I can only use my fancy crackle on the base or the gold, whereas ink, I'm still limited to what I have there. But one other awesome thing they've added here is you can now choose to have an inked or a gold with no effect on it as long as you've unlocked an inked or a gold already on the card. So that's a huge upgrade. I know for me and a bunch of other people, we aren't really big fans of the tone flare effect. So being able to just turn that off while still having the inked is super duper awesome. Big fan of that. There's also an update to how prism looks. So it's a bit more distinct now compared to foil, uh, more triangles going on in the background. You can see that here. Uh, I like this. Um, I'm sure not everyone will like this, but I was not really a big fan of the old prism. I think this one is much more interesting personally. Uh, so that's a pretty big dub. Uh, crackle on base art has been something people have wanted for a really, really long time. They've shown they have the technology to do it, uh, but I didn't think it was something we were actually going to get. So huge dub there. And uh, yeah, it, it really also makes you feel better about when you do finally get a crackle uh, and it's not on an inked or a gold, like a god split, like pe most people are chasing for. Now you can at least apply it to the base art, which is really, really sweet. Uh, other than that, we do have some updates to the border shop stuff. So we can see here, uh, now when you go into the border shop, you can see there are limited time offers that will refresh, but these are at a cheaper price than it was before. Uh, before it was 900 for the most expensive border and 500 for the uh, cheaper ones. And now we're seeing the high-end one is 750 uh, and the other ones are 400. You can also view this in the shop, I believe. We'll head over there really quick. Let's take a look. If we scroll on down, the cosmetic shop has been expanded. So you can see these are the same exact ones uh, that we saw in the uh, card customization section. So this seems to be the new way they're going to go about doing this. And once these are in here, you can buy an infinite amount of them. So if you really want to stock up on some white neon borders, you can do that. I do think it's a little odd that you can't uh, just get them regularly anymore uh, for like the full price, but that's really not that big of a deal to me. Uh, it's making them cheaper and there aren't enough borders in the shop to where you're not going to see them very often. It's still only a handful of borders, so I don't think that's too big of an issue. There was also a bug with this patch that I noticed upon logging in. So if you have the America Chavez Miss America album completed up to this pink border here, when you log in after the patch, you might notice that you can claim the border a second time and you will actually get another border. I don't know if they're going to quickly fix that or not. So if you do see this happen, I would definitely grab it while you can because free borders are real nice. So those are the really big updates to the cosmetic features of the game, but those weren't the only updates we got. We also got some updates to voice lines, Killmonger, Ghost Rider, and Doctor Strange all received voice lines. Uh, we, there have also been some improvements to alliances. You can now share decks via alliances, which is a commonly asked for feature. Player variants now show when the bot is showing your eight cube wins. That's also something people were wanting, so nice to see that. And they've updated bounties to limit the amount of the same type bounties that appear. So now only three of the same type of bounty can appear on the bounty board. So no more clogging up the whole board with those destroy a bunch of cards that nobody wants to do. Also some emblems have been added to give people more options for their alliance emblem.
They updated some text on cards here, but none of these are functional changes. They're just trying to make things a little bit more clear for the newest version of Shadow King and Moon Knight, as well as Baron Zemo. Uh, the big one, though, that actually... In the big thing, though, that actually is going to impact gameplay here is the location updates. Uh, so we can see that they have decided to adjust and remove some locations. Lamentus and the Peak have been removed. Uh, I think this is great. I think these were some of the more hated locations in the game, and apparently their data seemed to uh, agree with that. So they have temporarily removed them from the game, and they are going to potentially rework them and change them up. In the same vein, District X got a big change here where veteran players, much like if you saw the little leak that was going around on Twitter, uh, appeared to be accurate. So uh, most of the player base, especially if you've been playing a while, won't be seeing District X anymore. Now it's kind of a newer player exclusive thing. And I think that's great uh, because like they say here in the notes, players who are new to the game and haven't seen all the cards probably had a lot of fun with District X. Whereas players who, you know, are more familiar with the game oftentimes really just want to engage with the deck that they built. And that seems to be uh, a common theme here where uh, they're dealing with some of these locations that are kind of anti you getting to play your deck. Uh, same thing here with Weird World. Now, instead of making you draw from your opponent's deck the whole game, it draws two cards from your opponent's deck. Uh, so, yeah, this is another one where it's like it still keeps kind of the the fun theme of it and whatnot, uh, but it makes it so that you aren't actually having to not have any of your own cards, which is nice. And then Sandbar returns. A lot of people probably weren't around when this card initially came out, uh, but Sandbar was a pretty hated location where you could only play cards with no abilities. Just wasn't a very fun design. Now it is a new design. Cards that didn't start in your deck cost one more. So still a little bit more of a prohibiting design, but nowhere near as prohibiting uh, as the original form where you could only play like Patriot cards or Jeff or get in there with a token or something. Uh, so I think that's kind of an interesting one and Arsham will hate to see that. So you love to see anything that makes Arsham a little sad. And yeah, those are all the main changes in the patch. So this is a more cosmetic focused patch. And they mentioned at the top here that with these types of patches, Generally, they're going to be more focused on cleaning things up with like card text as well as like video effects kind of stuff. Uh, so no actual balance changes here. We'll keep an eye out for balance changes, I believe, next week on Thursday with another OTA. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I just wanted to get the information out there. Uh, this is live on Steam. Not sure if it's live yet on mobile or not, but if it's not, it should be soon. Uh, but yeah, I really like these changes. I think these are some of the best cosmetic focused updates we've gotten to the game in a while, ever since the initial addition of the custom card feature. So it's really nice to see that expanded upon and made better over time. Let me know what you think about the changes in the comments below. There's also some data mine stuff and whatnot, uh, but I'm going to keep that to its own video, which I'll probably put out sometime tomorrow. And if you didn't already see it, I put out a different video a little bit earlier today talking about whether High Evolutionary is deserving of its old nerfs or if it should get some buffs back to its power. So if that kind of discussion sounds interesting to you, definitely check that one out. I'll leave it linked in the description below. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.